One Piece chapter 825 quick mini review. I don't have a lot to say on this one. I do have a video I'll be doing about Sanji's brother or whoever that was, Sanji's family member that showed up at the end. We know he's Sanji's family member because of the eyebrows. But I'm going to be blunt. This chapter was way too quick of a read. Of way too quick of a read. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Probably because I'm angry. It was way too quick of a read. And a lot of it was just about the comic strip. And I don't personally care about some stupid comic strip that the government uses to make people think the Marines are good guys. I understand the purpose of the comic strip. I understand why it's in the chapter. It's in the chapter to give us some background on Gurma 66. But in the end, it's a comic strip. So I am not buying any of it. For all we know, half of the stuff in the comic strip could be fake. None of the information that we get about Grandma City Snake could be true. I don't believe it. It's a comic strip. I want actual information from an actual source. I'm not going to take my facts from a freaking comic strip. However, we do learn that the Vine Smoke family and Grandma City Snake are one thing because Pekka and Doug freak out. Doug referred to the ship Sanji brother is on. Why do I keep on calling it Sanji brother? Sanji's family member is on. He refers to the ship as Gurma 66. Now, there's, there's, the chapter does have some good comedy. It really does. It has a couple funny moments. My personal favorite would probably be when Chopper is freaking out about the poison with Luffy. And he, he thinks Luffy's going to die. And then, after like, after like two pages of this, he just realizes he's immune to poison. I just killed two pages. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like there's been a lot of time killing recently. Like, Oda will do a little bit of something important, and it'll just switch to Luffy and the others on the study for like two or three, four or five pages of comedy. Which I'm fine with comedy, but it's getting a little ridiculous. But I did like the art, like how Luffy's face was all shriveled up for not eating and from the heat. That was great. I, it was all really good stuff. Really, really, really good. I mean, it was funny, and it, 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 it took up so much time that I got a little annoyed, to be honest. Like, instead of switching to, like, the, the Luffy and the other, and talking about how they're eating, how Luffy's trying to eat poison, why don't we go to Zoe and see Jack? Wouldn't that be amazing if we could actually go back and get content for once? I, I'm, a, I'm just a little annoyed because oh, I'm thinking of all the stuff Oda doesn't show up right now. And he's probably not going to show up whatever Jack does when he gets up from under the ocean. He's probably not going to show us that, and that is really upsetting. But, honestly, it just, I just did it. I didn't really like the chapter. Uh, crit. If I had to get, like, an actual rating, I would give it... From an, enter from an entertainment standpoint, I would give it, like, a 3 out of 5. From a, a story standpoint, I'd give it a 5 out of 5, because... It revealed one of Sanji's brothers. It possibly set up a fight between Sanji's family member, not his brother, his family member, and Luffy. I don't know if this will actually happen. But, yeah. I mean, maybe. I don't know if the guy can beat Luffy. I don't think he can. I am a firm believer that I don't think Sanji's entire family is Admiral level. The other why isn't Sanji Admiral level? That's stupid. I don't buy that. But... Yeah, that's really, that's really it. There's nothing more for me to do or say. Just, you know, uh, there was the part with uh, Sanji. When he was just having the same stupid banter with the guy. But I think, was that Lola? I think that was Lola. The Sanji even commented on how they're familiar. So I'm pretty sure that was Lola. So I wonder what her role will be in all of this. I'm not sure. But I feel like the story going a little too fast for me personally. The chapter just... Both by, and they're just, they're, it gets to the point where they're going so fast, I find them a little bit less entertaining. Yeah, I feel like we spend less time on each character. But that is besides the point. Oh, by the way, we're going on break next week. Yay. But, it's just, I really don't know. I would personally, personally say the best part of this chapter with the straw hat comedy or the ending. It's either that. The banter with Sanji, it was pretty much a rehash of Black Week, where he's pretty much telling the, the people are holding him there, or making sure he doesn't leave, I guess, because they can't really hold him. 
he pretty much telling them I'm not going to marry this woman, which surprised me a little bit because I thought he'd be all over her because she's that means had you seen this woman beside her move, the Dissanji we're talking about. I thought he'd be all over it, but no, he's like, no, I'm not doing it. And then it's just banter. Stupid banter. They comment a little bit about his family. He, he said the same kind of crap, like, I had nothing to do with them. I don't want to be a part of that crap anymore. Same thing. But yeah, if I had to rate the chapter from my personal standpoint, I'd give it like a 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 sounds good to me. Yeah, I see. That's actually the same thing I gave the Burrito chapter, but completely different reasons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of One Piece chapter 825. It's more of a ramble, actually, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day.